Hi, this is Rennie with Smart Home Rigs. Today we're going to show you how to use your wise cameras on your fire stick. Stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. So I was out yard selling a couple of weeks ago and I met one of my neighbors, subscriber586, and we were started talking about smart home tech and he said that he had some wise cameras that he liked using and I said, you got a fire stick? And he said, I've got one but I'm not really using it and I said, let me tell you why you should start. And as I started to explain to him how I use TinyCam Pro to see my cameras, I thought this would make a nice video. So in case you missed a step, Bubba, this one's for you. What we're talking about today is TinyCam Pro, $2.99 in the Amazon Marketplace. If you have an older Fire Stick, you won't even find this in the App Store. And if you try downloading it from the cloud, doing that trick, you'll get the following message. And if you open it, it's going to look like this. We're just going to go ahead and scroll all the way on over to the check mark in the bottom right. Then we're going to go up to the add IP camera. First thing we're going to do is name it. Now if you have your WISE cameras already set up the channel number is going to be the the number of the actual camera in the list. So if you find the channel number for one camera the next camera is going to be the next channel down and so on and so on. This first camera we'll call driveway. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the list because it's a WISE camera. The driveway is a regular camera. Gotta type in the username that you're using. This is where you'll assign the camera the channel number. I think mine starts on five, so everything else is set to default. But if you had a doorbell, you could actually rotate it 90 degrees if it shows up incorrectly. Now we'll see if this sees the driveway. That is my driveway camera. So if I go up and over to the left menu there, you can go down to manage cameras. And now my favorite part of this app is on the right hand side, these three dots on this camera will allow me to just copy pasta. And all I have to do is rename this camera and we'll call this one front yard. It's automatically the next one in the line. And since I'm going to go on down the line, I know that the next one, I'm just going to copy pasta again. Name this garage. Automatically the next channel in the list. And this one will be backyard. Now this one is not the next one in line, and I know that, so I'm going to go ahead and change this by one to bring up that camera. And now I'm going to hit copy. So now I've got four cameras, and if I hit the back button and back again, it should show me all four cameras on one screen. Take a second for all of them to load. This is the driveway camera. This should be the front yard camera. Yes. The garage and the backyard. Now another thing that I like is I'm going to go up here to manage. I'm going to go down to that front yard camera and I'm going to edit it because this camera is actually a pan cam. It's the new V2 pan cam with a twilight night vision. And if I go back now, and I bring this up because I told it it's a pan, if I hit the up button on the remote, it brings up the menu at the bottom. We're going to go over to this navigation right here. 
and it brings up this circle and if I just hit the up button I can now use the remote control of the fire stick to control that camera and see all the way left I can go up all the way right down and back and then hit the back button and you'll be right back to your four screen where you can see all of the cameras at once you can also set multiple configurations if you don't like this layout or you want to see one picture large and you have more cameras that you want to see small you can come up here to the display so if you're looking at your four cameras go up and then go over to the right to the three dots and hit that and you can go to cameras per page and these are the different layouts you can do two cameras four cameras one with five around it nine cameras I find that the quad is the best for me because I can see actually what's going on in all four of the cameras and I frequently find that whenever I go to this camera I will pick one of these two cameras to bring up full screen but if I see something that I need to refer to another camera it's easy for me to pop back to the four, four panel and then bring that camera up sometimes the app does this and I back out and launch it again and that usually is enough to fix it again but this is the easiest way to keep an eye on your cameras from your fire stick on the TV. Not bad, huh? So for about three bucks, I was able to breathe new life into my fire stick and use it to see all my cameras. It's one of my favorite solutions because it's so easy to set up. Being able to take one profile and simply copy pasta to a new one makes it a total breeze. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ding that bell so you get notified when we post new content. Once again, I've been Rennie and you've been great. Smart Home Rigs, helping your smart home tech work for you. See you in the next one.